And good afternoon, folks. What point of three bring you guys another one? This time here, we're doing the FB226 Contradictious. Yeah, <laughs> sit back, relax, and of course, enjoy the show. All right, you see it, next tank in the holiday ops. And basically we had to do this. Another double barrel with a unique mechanic to it, you know. Basically it does two different things when you do the mechanic, of course, that's how the seat siege mode, see, First off, if they did it without the siege mode and they worked it like the 70, um, 703, I would have no complaints. I mean, seriously, I would have no complaints. The problem is you have a siege mode and well, <laughs> unique. Yes, uniqueness is not all as cracked up to be because with the 703, it, uh, uh, this one, you gotta go into siege mode to make this mechanic work. With the bloom, that's literally, I mean, oh my God. Why Wargaming, why? Uniqueness is not always a good thing in the game. But let's go to the raw stats. And then, well, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get into it. Okay. Now, DPM wise, it's in line with the other two auto loaders. If you're shooting that pew, pew, pew. When you go into siege mode, there's a problem, but I just, I, I don't even know what to say. So penetration wise, okay, it's on par with everything else. We we, we like that. Again, four more is not statistically in um uh, everything else of that. Damage wise, again, it's above this one. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't put in the correct. All right, there we go. Damage wise is on par with the rest and everything else to that. We, 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 we like that. It's not as good as the 703. Caliber is a little lacking again, like the, the, the normal tank in the game and everything else to the shell velocity. Uh, again, we're going to give it to the pass and everything else to that. The ammo capacity though. We're going to give it to, we're going to give them more game all the claps in the world. You're not limiting a tank with, with ammo capacity. We love this. Best part of the tank ever. Let's go to the gun handling. Now again, this is two different modes. So we'll have to look at each one of them. All right, base mode, aim time, oof, glorious. Base dispersion again, looks glorious. This is when you do single shots. Dispersion on the other hand, gun handling while you're moving, doing anything else like that, ain't good. So again, it, it's a little bit good here and then bad here. We can live with that, you know, it's thing. Gun elevation is bad. Gun depression though, 10, again. No, no, another set of claps. We like that. Now we have to do this. Switch is over. Gun handling. Your dispersion is crap. I mean, the worst is ever. If you're shooting both barrels, prepare for that shot to go anywhere why again if you kept it without a siege mode this would be awesome you 
you would have basically a British version of the 703. Someone in the infinite mission said, you know, we're going to do this special mechanic and fuck this up. If they didn't do that, it would be perfect. So basically, your dispersion is crap. So if you're not in their face, prepare to, to miss. On damage gun, just forget about it. Now, if you're moving, meaning that if you just move and shoot, but the problem is your bloom is this, you're moving and shooting, it's still going to say, I don't know where it's going. Again, why? Why, go go Wargaming, did you do that? Why? Mobility. Prop task. So we got to go back. We got to go back. Let's change it back to the other form. <laughs> Again. Oh. Mobility when you're not in that mode. You know, it's on par with everything else. Which is glorious. Reverse speed is a little lacking for my taste. But again, still on par with everything else like that. Your terrain resistance is on par. Your everything else is basically on par. Traverse speed is a little bit better again, which is great. Your terrain resistance is a little, oh, it's a little bit worse, but still manageable. And then again, once you go back into to your siege mode, yes, and I'm purposely doing it like this because this is how it feels when you go in and out of siege mode. Stupid. <laughs> then you can only go 20. 20! Bruh. <laughs> you still got a good reverse speed and everything else of that. But you, you, you've you literally clapped yourself. You've clapped yourself to go in the siege mode. My God, stop it. Again, this is why sometimes Wargaming just, I, I don't know. You had a perfectly good tank that you could have put in the game that I would have said, yo, you got a, I got a British version of the 703. Sign me up. And then you put the siege mode in and just fucked it up. Again, I love the double. I When I play the 703, you can look at my win rate. It's like that gets 54% or something like that. I normally shoot only double barrel. I'm a double barrel fiend. It's like, yes, take this 800 to the face. Love double barrel. Now I'm going to have, no, actually, I'm not going to have this. I just want to make it clear. This is shit. Now, armor-wise, it looks better than the 703, doesn't it? Looks way better than the 703. We're going to deal with the armor more in a minute. Track uh, armor, we don't care because it's that just meaningless and everything else that health wise is on par with everything else that engine wise and everything else that so again, health and armor wise, it looks like it's on par with the other Russian tanks. Camo is abysmal, don't care, it's a heavy tank. Uh, view range again, British tank. 370 versus everything else on that again. Good. Shell cost, it's a little bit up there and everything else. I would like it to be in the thousands, but again, no real complaint there. So my problem with this tank is, let's look at the armor models. Okay. If you look at the tank, well, how it was from the jump, you can see your front plate, the actually was here, is basically pinnable the 703 is basically shorter so you are not pinning that normally again unless you're a really tall tank and even then your chances is not really good whereas if you're a tall tank here it's just glass so because again since this is already the way it is and everything else that your front profile is just i'm sorry it's your armor profile is ass. It looks good on paper until you actually look at it under conditions that a normal take would be. Again, your upper glaciers on the 703, it, you know, you bouncing shots. Your turret face, again, you're bouncing shots. 
Go and play the behind this here so that you're good. On this one here, again, you're not bouncing as many shots. They aiming here, you're you you're, you're good most of the time. But if they're aiming lower and it's like that, you're bound you're not bouncing. So it's not as good here and everything else as the 703. The main problem is Cupola. Not good. Now again, if you're going hold down and you're using maximum gun depression and everything else of that, we just want to make sure we near maximum gun depression. Hope we can get a little bit further down. Yeah, you know that you can still see it really easily. That's a hell of a weak spot. 703, again, has Coppola things there, but you're not really hitting it baseline with just its, its limited little gun depression. You're still not hitting, oh, let me give it a little less. No, actually some more, sorry, my bad. You're still not, you're, you're not hitting it. You're not hitting it, I'm sorry. So the armor profile looks good until you actually look at that Coppola. I wish this Coppola was smaller and everything else of that. The front profile, again, is way more pinnable and everything else of that. So again, that's not good. So you have to basically go hold down and pray no one's hitting you Coppola. So again, versus the 703, the armor profile just doesn't match up. My main problem with this tank here is the siege mode. That basically Fs this tank up. It makes it slower. It makes your gun bloom. I mean, literally, you're, you're just, it's out to here. Yeah, you can basically epic gun thing if you turn moving around it's gonna but the problem is you're aiming for a weak spot and you can hit anywhere on the tank because of how big that bloom is sorry how big the reticle is i said bloom my apologies how big the reticle is so this if they had not put the siege mode in it i literally would say you built another 703, everybody's gonna love it. It's gonna be great. When you put the siege mechanic on it, you basically fuck this tank. So is is this worth it versus getting the 703? You had two choices. The 703 or this one tank here, you take it in a pinch. You pick the 703 every single time. Why? Your base stats, even though your spurs are a little bit better, your base stats for doing, turning, shooting, firing is better and everything else like that. Your armor profile is better with the 703 because again, that Coppola on the top and everything else like that. So basically the contradiction is a contradiction. They gave it the correct name because it contradicts all sanity by putting a siege mode in it. you ba They basically screwed this tank over by putting the siege mode in. If they didn't do that, if they got rid of it tomorrow, they like, you know, before it goes in game, we don't like the siege mode. We're gonna take that me mechanic out and just leave the base stats the way it is right now. I would say it's a buy. It's something that you wanna look forward to in the blue boxes. But as it stands right this second with the siege modes, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Because again, you could buy the 703 base, get it out the door with no thing worry about if you, am I gonna get it in the box? Versus just buying the 703 outright when it's on sale and just having, uh, having a love and affair. So again, the contradictions is contradictory that you don't want it. Because Wargaming decided to make it special. They made it basically special ed. This is Warp 3 saying Warp Out, have fun. We're going to catch you guys on the next one.